Hello again, this is Joe Hildreth and welcome to my heap. In our last uh, Atlas lathe video, we had talked about uh, you know getting this lathe um, off of Craigslist and that uh, it needs cleaned up. Uh, but one of the things that I noticed is that uh, when I wanted to engage the back gears, there's a pin here on the uh, bull gear that I cannot pull out to release from the uh, pulley. So let me explain a little bit how this works. Normally, uh, with this pin, pushed in and engaged to the pulley and the and the gear set back uh, out of engagement with uh, the spindle the uh, lathe is in direct drive so as the belt spins it just spins the uh, the whole spindle and uh, a lot of you guys probably already know this and like I said this is just a uh, maybe for somebody who doesn't know how this works the idea of the back gears is to slow the spindle down even further giving it more torque so that you can take heavier cuts or cut um, larger diameter metal and to put it in back gears like I said you would normally would pull this pin out which disengages the bull, we, uh, the bull gear from the uh, pulley allowing uh, this pulley to spin freely while the bull gear is, is uh, connected to the sh shaft with a key so uh, to engage it you'd pull that pin you would set these over here and then as the pulley spun it spins this gear which is engaged with kind of some coarse teeth here on the side of the pulley that spins this gear so this is a reduction here and then this is compounded because we have a big gear to a small gear and another small gear driving so we have another reduction so you see that uh, for the same speed that it slows the spindle down because this gear drives the bull wheel which is attached to the spindle spinning the spindle and this stuff would be free freewheeling so but we can't go into back gears like I said because we can't pull this pin before I get started on this there's a few people that I probably owe a little bit of gratitude to or maybe a lot of gratitude depends on how you look at it uh, for sharing their YouTube videos to show that's how it's done and and uh, just in general teaching me uh, a, a lot about a lathe that I didn't know and those people are uh, Mr. Pete 222 uh, goes by the name of uh, Tubal Kane but his uh, YouTube handle is Mr. Pete 222 Mr. Pete uh, has a uh, hundreds of just absolutely wonderful videos on shop uh, shop tips and lays and old engine and and uh, I tell you what I would have given anything to have a teacher uh, like that when I was a kid I'm a computer geek by trade so uh, this is a hobby for me and I may be doing some things wrong and if I'm doing things wrong here please uh, please share with me um, and then there are a couple of other folks who I can't remember their uh, YouTube handles right off the top of my head but I'll be sure to post a little thing here on the video uh, when I do uh, both both uh, people uh, one is doing a uh, an atlas lay the uh, restore or clean up or whatever you want to call it uh, who removed the spindle had a lot of difficulty and I hope I don't run into the problems that he had um, and then the other one uh, was just a general um, how to remove the spindle to change the belt and I think he was replacing some gears so to get started um, I've removed the belt guard. It was just a couple bolts holding it back here, and I have loosened. I've taken the belt off of the counter shaft pulley, so this is this is free. Now, as far as I know, the only tools that we're going to have to have is you're going to have to have a, a heavy hammer, uh, a non-marring hammer like a rubber hammer or a dead blow or a brass hammer or a lead hammer or something like that, so we don't damage the spindle because we will have to probably drive on the spindle a little bit. Going to have to have an eighth inch. Uh, Allen, Allen wrench uh, to undo the various set screws that we find uh, here on the lathe and on the bull gear. Um, we're going to have to have a small screwdriver pro possibly to kind of wedge under the uh, uh, woodruff keys to get them up so that we can pull them out. We'll need a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to be able to reach down in there and grab the key and pull it out. And uh, Additionally we're going to have to have a couple small pieces of wood that we can wedge between the casting and the bull gear so as we drive it on um, we expose that key and we're not just driving everything into the bearing. So with that out of the way uh, I do want to say this has not been a part. I don't know what kind of problems I'm going to run into. Um, I've seen both extremes on the two videos that I've watched. One guy had a heck of a time getting it apart and another guy who looked like it just really was uh, smooth sailing. So um, with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to 
remove this collar now maybe somebody can help me this collar normally that I on pictures that I've seen is a very narrow collar it is threaded onto the end of the spindle here um, but now my collar is very very wide and it has uh, indexing holes out here on the edge so I don't know if this is part of another tool that I just didn't don't have with a lathe or 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 what that is so maybe somebody can share that with me so we're gonna there's a set screw here we're gonna loosen that up and I did actually break the most of the set screws uh, before I started and we're gonna give this a twist or maybe we're not so looks like we've already run into our first problem here back the screw out some more now the way I understand there's supposed to be a little brass piece in here that the set screw sets and pushes down into the thread so it doesn't uh, damage the threads I don't know if I have that in there. As deep as it was, I don't think it was. So my threads might be a little bit marred up. So I was hoping to uh, use the wrench here and hold on to maybe unscrew that, but it's not going to go. So um, looks like we might have run into our first snag. Uh, I, I would take the set screw out maybe and put a larger wrench in there to pry, but I'm afraid that if I'd done that, I would uh, only mess up the threads. So looking at these holes over here, uh, they're not very deep either. I was wondering if I could get something in there to help leverage that. So I'll tell you what, I want to pause for a minute and see what I can think of to, uh, uh, to try to get this unscrewed. So I've run into my first snag, guys, and uh, hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully this is the worst, but we'll see. Okay, well, we finally figured out a way to break this loose with maybe without damaging too much. This is a little piece of drill rod uh, that was left over from another little project that I done. I'm just setting it in the spindle and then you see these index holes here. I'm just putting this Allen wrench as far in one of these index holes as I can and then using this as a pry bar with a small piece of pipe I'm gonna allow me to unwind that. So now hopefully that's enough there to take that off. I'll put that there. Remember, never put any any tools on the bed of your ways. So, all right. Let's see if I can get that off now. All right, here it comes. All right. So this is threaded. It's a little little sticky. It might be a burr on the uh, thread, and we'll take a look. And I'm just going to hold the set screw down to the bottom and thread it off this way because there should be, as I understand it, a little brass plug in the uh, uh, in the thing and there is not in mine so knowing that um, let's take a look here at the uh, yeah I'm saying there's damage here the uh, threads are scored pretty bad there so those will have to be cleaned up I'm not sure what to do about that so next is this gear, and this gear, I think, just pulls off, or maybe it doesn't. All right, so here's another set screw. That one's in there pretty tight. Let's take this one off. Okay. It's retaining collar here. All right, so I'm just going to take this one out. Set it off to the side here. And see, make sure... It looks like there's a piece of brass in that one, maybe. Maybe that or the shaft is just all buggered up. All right, so I'm not um, I'm not seeing anything here that would. I'm just going to bump this a little bit, and I'm a little nervous about bumping these gears. These gears are made out of Zamac or Zamac or whatever. It's an alloy that uh, uh, they use to make their gears out of that was affordable and, and cheap. So, um, as far as I know, this should be on a key. I'm looking, yeah, there's a key there, so I'm gonna have to get this off of that key. So this should just slide off. So, um, well, I hate to pry on it. I'm gonna try with this little piece of wood. That little piece of wood's too thick. All right, well, I'm gonna have to uh, investigate how to get that off, and we'll be, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've decided that uh, since I can't pull this off by hand, I'm going to have to drive it off or 
I don't have a gear puller, so I'm just going to use some soft wood and, and my rubber mallet here and just gently peck on that until that gear comes off. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so the gear's off. And uh, it looks okay. It's a little rough, but we'll see. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And then here's a uh, woodruff key. We're going to pull that out so as not to lose it. Mm. All right. Well, this is where I said we might need a screwdriver. Let's see if I can get under the edge of it here. And <clears throat> All righty. Well. Hmm. All right. I wonder if I can just bump this key a little bit. Loosen it up. Yeah, I think that shifted it, so maybe I can get the pliers on it now. I'm have to pull it out and not lose it. Oh, it's on there pretty good. All right. See if I can get up under here as a screwdriver, maybe pry it up just a little bit. I probably know my hands are probably in the way. I can doesn't seem to get it either. Alright, let's try. There it comes. Alright, so I guess I have to get it out with the pliers. <clears throat> Holy cow. That is one tight fitting key. Put it back on here. I don't want to bugger up the threads any more than what we got going on there. And the key just dropped out. I'm going to have to find that. Let's see here. Drop straight down. Oh, there it is right there. Alright. Alright, so there's the Woodruff key that held the, uh, the gear on. So we'll set that over here. Alright, now this is just a retainer supposedly and should pull off and I noticed that the uh, other ones I've seen didn't have a, a gear on them so let me see if I can at least maybe spin that around or something here like I said I am not a machinist I'm a computer geek by trade hopefully oh yeah okay all right so pull this off this is the bearing retainer and all right, I'll take this, I got it loose, so it was kind of caked on there with some grease or something. All right. Well, I see what the problem is. Um, this gear's in the way, so I'm going to have to have a wrench to take the spindle gear off as I'm bumping up against it right here. So, i going to do this screw here, or bolt rather, I'm sorry, and that should allow this gear to slide right off, and we'll set this off over to the side, now, there we go, okay, so uh, the outside part of it's done, and um, now, the way I understand it, we ought to be able to drive this shaft forward to knock the dust cover off the back, so maybe uh, I'll reposition the camera and uh, we'll come back to that here in just a minute okay now that we're repositioned uh, in order to drive the shaft through um, we got a set screw collar here um, that holds this gear in position you see that's way out there and it should be mashed up there so this collar is out of position this is actually an oil screw and i can't tell if there's a oh there is okay so let's just let me back that out. I don't know if that's sitting there riding up against the shaft. Somebody thought that that's where that went. Hmm. Doesn't feel like it's catching any threads. So that might be a problem. Yeah, it's not. So somebody's put that all the way through. But anyway, we're going to take... There's two set screws on this collar. So I'm going to take those out. And they're 90 degrees apart. There's the other one. 
And we're going to take that off. All right. And finally, on the bull gear, if you look down beside here, I know you can't see, but there's a set screw, set screw here. And we're going to loosen this one. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to take it out if I can. All right. So that's that one. All right. Now, um, I'm not sure what to do about that screw. I screwed all the way through the pulley, I think. And it's kind of laying on the thing. So now what we're going to do, if I just drive the shaft forward, the bull gear will hit the indexing pin and probably damage it. So I got some pieces of wood here that I'm just going to lay between the headstock casting and the bull gear to give it something to uh, ride against. And I'm going to try to drive the shaft forward at least till we knock out the dust, the bearing dust cover here. So here goes. tell if we're moving any. Okay, I think we are. I think we are. I can't really tell. Alright. Hmm. Well, I can't tell that we're moving the shaft, so um, I'm afraid I might be like the uh, last guy that I've seen. And let's turn around here. There is a lot of crud here. I don't know. It might be might be moving a little. I can't really tell. Well, we'll try it some more. <clears throat> hmm. I can't tell if we're making any progress. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think we are making progress. Let me I'll move around to the other side where I can get a little more of a whack on it. Okay. luck hmm I don't know I don't think the uh, rubber mallet's is gonna hurt the uh, the uh, spindle but let me give this a minute or two of thought and then we'll come back okay well uh, we have uh, been driving on the end of this spindle with uh, a rubber mallet and it is moving and the keys exposed so I'm gonna lift this key up a little bit here okay it looks like it's fairly free so I'm gonna pull this out with a needle nose okay so there's the spindle key for the bull gear so in theory it should just spin and it does and looky there so that's interesting to know and That pen is free, so I'm a little confused as to why um, it was froze up. I don't know. I don't know more when I get it apart. But now that being said, um, that spins free on there, and uh, but the 
um, but the pulley does not and there's a set screw there now that's an oil screw but it has been screwed so far down in there that it does not uh, screw out uh, you can sort of feel it catching the or if I pull it at an angle well maybe it's the next size up no I had the right size so well one of my concerns is that um, the spindle is coming out but I really expected this this uh, um, dust cover you know to come off out of the out of the casting here so uh, I'm gonna bump it a little bit more and and see you know what happens and like I said the the bull gear is loose but I cannot turn that pulley it's like it seized on the shaft yeah so I think that's uh, looks to be part of my problem all right so look I'm gonna drive this back this way with my rubber mallet so the uh, it is moving just not enough so the collar here which I uh, wish was free is kind of bound up on the shaft too so um, well let me uh, let me try these again and I uh, I put the uh, thing on here just just so I wouldn't I don't think that the uh, rubber mallet would mess it up but hmm I just heard something drop that can't be good so I'm gonna investigate I think maybe I just knocked off a set screw hmm now see the bearing as far as I know should be pressed all the way up to the end of the spindle so um, I don't know guys um, I am open to suggestions I don't even see where on the on the uh, pulley the thing's supposed to lock in so all right well that's where I'm at I guess I'm stuck there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post this video and if you guys got any ideas how to get this shaft out or if I'm just messing it up or what um, please let me know and uh, thank you for uh, your time energy and help okay well maybe I jumped the gun because I I did bump it a few more times and now I do have the dust cover is off and man is it packed through packed with I have no idea what that is it looks like some sort of orange grease no it's not grease I mean it's grease okay so I've exposed the bearing the part that I'm a little confused about is well, let me take this off. Okay, so I know that we didn't mess up those. And uh, so we can bump this a little more. All right, guys, well. I think I am still back to
square one. The only thing that I can say is that, uh, without a doubt, is there's a shoulder or something there. I'm definitely going to have to uh, clean up the spindle. All right, so. I'm not sure about this gear as this uh, bearing is it pressed on but while we're here and boy is that really gritty let's see if we can find out what year this old girl is if at all and I need a light and probably my geezer goggles and let's see what we got here well if there was a date etched on this Timken bearing it was uh, long worn off so all right well I guess we should go back at it now I wish I that's loose that collar wasn't loose before so really the vast majority of my problem really is this pulley and man I am probably scoring the crap out of uh, out of the spindle because the pulley is just absolutely locked on there so huh interesting okay so All right, well, I'm gonna drop these pieces of wood back in here, or maybe I'm not. All right, guys, I don't know what I've done here. Okay, let's get that one in there and this one here and here. And see if we can drive this out with this piece of wood. No, it won't. And we are well I think I really am stuck now so if anybody's got any ideas uh, feel free to fill me in thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you guys can help me okay we're back uh, we were able to get a close fitting uh, block in here and continue driving so we got it out enough here that we can start taking it apart so here's the collar and this gear now I don't know the spindles oops actually coming out of it now all right so there's the uh, I guess part of the bull gear and and the pulley and finally the bull gear all right so okay so I'm not sure I think that is sheared off. No, the pin goes in. Okay, so that, that pin's free moving, so I'm not sure what the problem there was. The, okay, I guess the pin is supposed to slide in one of these notches here. And, It looks like it does, so I don't know why I couldn't pull it out. So maybe it just needs to be cleaned and lubricated. Um, Alright, 
So there's the, I don't know if you can see in there, the set screw. I think that it will just push on through because there was nothing, there was no threads holding it. And again, this, this set screw isn't to bind, oh, it's the wrong size key. The set screw isn't to bind the pulley to the shaft. The set screw is, uh, hmm, is, is an oil hole. So I'm going to have to figure out how to apply a little pressure there up against that set screw and uh, get the set screw out. I'll give that to my son, Mike. Now, all right, so if you look here, you see there's some real digs here. Um, on the uh, on the shaft and I'm feeling it's grooved so it's gonna have to be cleaned up with a file real good and this bearing is supposed to be pressed all the way up to here so I don't know um, guys what would you do is this a salvageable spindle do I need to find another spindle or what do you guys think what do you think uh, I should do here so I don't I don't think that should just slide by hand like it just did. So, but obviously the bearings need a good cleaning. And uh, there's a set screw mark, and that's what dug across there. So it was a set screw from the pulley that was hung up on there until it got past here. So this is very, very sticky and gummy. Um, so this is going to need a, a good cleaning. All right, well. Um, when I get it all cleaned up, we'll come back uh, to the next video. So I really am ending it this time. Got the spindle out. If you can see these, you guys think I'd just be all right. Clean that up with a uh, dress that real lightly with uh, some file or emery cloth to take that burr off. And then uh, the fact that uh, I was able to slide this bearing up to the spindle. See how it's moving around. I thought that was a press fit. So uh, would somebody let me know? So anyway, uh, thanks and we'll see you next time.